Quickly! Another charge! Another charge! Stand clear, comrades! He's about to burst! Ready to blow! in my arrows. My dart of death never falls short. What a battle that was. I never thought we would make it. And we wouldn't have, if it wasn't for your timely intervention. Thank you, my friend. We'll head back to Sicil, to the Legion barracks. I mustn't have used it correctly. I mustn't have used it correctly. I mustn't have used it correctly. Stupidity, Evelyn. Look over there. Your foolish games have brought source hunters into our very midst. I have no time for these distractions. Bracus Rex's resurrection is at hand. Deal with these insects and join me. Understand? Of course, O oh Holy Conduit. I will deal with them swiftly. See to it that you do. And you'll ever know what a pleasure it will be to see the source shred your every last sinew. That wretch is but a thrall, a tool, but the conduit trusted him. I was determined to find out why and resurrected him. His unwillingness to cooperate has proven something of an annoyance, but no matter. We're nearly through, aren't we, Jake? Just a little more pain. Yes, a sorcerer, disciple of blood, chaser of life everlasting. For a true sorcerer, death is but an inconvenience to rid oneself of, Hunter. Bracchus Rex, centuries in his grave, will walk again, healthy as a newborn babe. That is our power, the power of sorcery. She is our leader. Leandra is her name. The Conduit is her title. She aims to bring about... But no, you are not worthy of such knowledge. The bird does not explain to the worm why it devours it. 
He was the greatest sorcerer ever to have lived. His power outmatches us all. The secrets he carries within him are phenomenal. He will aid us in our task, Hunter. All you have seen, all we are trying to do, this is but the beginning. Considering the imminent turn of the tide, Source Hunter, you should trust me when I say you're better off dead. Bracchus Rex is rising, and soon Source will live again. Sigurd, free you from these demonic caves! I burn with the passion of the sun! Perhaps, but Black 
sheep of our family, too. She shunned her sister's teachings. Can you believe that? She could have been that very conduit's right hand, but she shunned her. Oh, take vengeance upon her, blessed Leandra. I invoke you. Open her veins, bleed her dry. Give her a function at last. My murder, a tale of woe. The time, a misty midnight. The place, the King Crab Inn. The players, myself, Leandra, Ikara, and a stranger whose identity I have never established. The conduit was there to meet with this stranger and had tasked me to stand ready to overpower him if necessary. I heard sounds of passion at first, but later of angry argument. Then I heard Leandra's command, and I entered the room. She swerved past me, and oh, I can still feel the rasp of her holy breath upon my ear, whispered, Finish him. The man lay on the floor, struck down and ready for my knife, which I plunged deep into his heart. Yet, but not a moment later, Ikara burst through the window, and I was defenseless. She savagely tore my life from my body, and I died in the glow of the source. A holy martyr, slain in the name of the conduit. Foolish grasper, she who thought herself the conduit's favorite couldn't stand that I had been privileged as a confidant. When she realized the conduit had been in the inn the night I was killed, she couldn't stand to think that I had been trusted where she had not. She brought me back to unlife so that I would reveal what I knew. She wanted to work her way back into the conduit's confidence. But as you saw, Leandra had no interest in Evelyn's petty tricks. Yes, yes, the king is dead. But not for long. Long live the king! The Blackest Rex has no equal hunter. His knowledge of the source is absolute, and through him so will the conduits be. The hour is nigh. You do not realize it yet, but his axe is falling towards your scrawny neck. <laughs> and I. I am of little use to Leandra's cause now. My worm-eaten brine is an insult to her perfection. To my grave, then, I will go. I suppose she will not grudge me my portion of rest. I once sat Bracchus Rex. His long, dormant pulse alone may alight this crumble. How contemptuous you are! The mighty Diedrich am I, Eartime Knight Commander, your presence is all. We welcomed him, the animator of our Bracchus Rex he is to you, insolent deep beneath indeed, mild resist. Arise, my vassals, the Baron of Bones demands your fealty. So dies the bard, whoa, whoa, whoa. In hell, I'll meet you, foe, foe, foe! Ha-ha! How many eyes does a bull have? Sometimes I just want to watch the world burn.
face the unending darkness. How long has it been, I wonder, my first repose in death? An hour? The time it takes the seas to tear down cliffs? It is of no matter. I live, and I shall claim my throne anew. A fable I may have become as time dragged on, but a fact I am once more, little one. Don't you, don't all of you miserable mortals realize that they who are one with Source have thrown off the burdensome mantle of death forever? I embraced Source. I drank it, made it part of my blood and my being. And so a warlord became a sorcerer, and a sorcerer became a king. The fools of this world dubbed me a tyrant, for the gods convinced them I was such, fearful as they were of my rise and power. Armies are massed, too many. Scores I slew, too few. Death took me, too soon, but not for all time. Ha, not a thing. There was a woman once that went by that name, until I mangled her body into that of a lich. Oh, my sister dearest, Cassandra. And her man cat. Mere pets of mine, the both of them. Tools to bruise and break as I saw fit. They bled so very beautifully. The reason for my resurrection, O simplest of spirits, is that I was destined to be. Were it not for the vainglorious fools that raised me now, it would have been another, perhaps wiser being that would have done so in time. And time is of no matter, only to be eternally. A woman seeks my secret, for her soul is entwined with another's, yes. Where once they were inseparable, now 
They have grown apart in purpose and intent. But my secrets are mine to keep. Perhaps when she lies shivering before me, pledging alliance to her king, I will break her forge before I break her. You where you stand. Face the unending darkness.
This will make a fine folk song one day. I will melt the flesh from your bones. The attacks cannot pierce my wards. Smell your fear! I strike from the soul of air. I'll defend you till my death rattle! And that is the final end of Brachus Rex. May his soul remain in the depths of hell for good. <laughs> 